Hello, welcome to Liverpool FC News Today channel. Liverpool owners FSG may get their first glimpse of the £279 million outlay they've used to give Jurgen Klopp one of the best attacking units in the world on paper against Manchester City and the pressure will be on for them to step up in the final 12 games of the season to secure a top for finish. A poor start to the campaign for Liverpool was soon made even worse with multiple injury setbacks that Klopp's side are still recovering from. Both Diogo Jota and Luis Diaz picked up long-term issues while Roberto Firmino and Darwin Nunez have also had time out on the sidelines. The multitude of injuries led to Liverpool pulling the trigger with a surprise move to sign Cody Gakpo for £35 million in January. The Dutchman has already begun to settle into life on Merseyside with four goals in eight Premier League starts. But. It's when things haven't been going well for Klopp's starting front three where Liverpool have struggled to change things up. Hotter and Firmino were ineffective off the bench against Bournemouth in Liverpool's disappointing 1-0 defeat before the international break. However, Diaz is set to make his long-awaited return to Liverpool's matchday squad, giving Klopp six top-class attacking options to choose from. All six attackers were signed for a combined cost of £279 million under FSG, and the Liverpool owners will need them fired up for the final third of the campaign. Diaz completely transformed Liverpool's season last year when he arrived from Porto in January, as the Reds came agonisingly close to a historic quadruple. Klopp will be hoping Diaz can have a similar impact as Liverpool chase down a top for spot. But the German coach will need all six of his attackers to find some form as Liverpool's best weapon is the depth they have in the forward positions. Liverpool would not have expected to be in this position at the start of the campaign having pushed Manchester City all the way in the title race last season. It's a different kind of test for Liverpool's pool of attacking talent now as Thiel come up against teams such as Leeds, Nottingham Forest and West Ham, who can't afford to drop any points in their bid to avoid relegation. The onus will be on Liverpool's attackers to break those sides down and improve their chances of qualifying for next year's Champions League. There's been some criticism at the Liverpool owners for not using their money to bolster options in midfield with the main focus over the past 14 months being in attack. The final few weeks of the season will determine whether their decision was justified to invest big money in the likes of Diaz, Nunez and Gakpo. Miss out on Champions League football and the criticism will only increase, but if Liverpool's attackers step up to blow opponents away like they have done in previous seasons then FSG will be vindicated in their business.